What is a Newtonian fluid? A Newtonian fluid is a fluid in which the viscous stresses arising from its flow at every point are linearly correlated to the local strain rate that is the rate of change of its deformation over time. So basically we can say a Newtonian fluid follows Newton's law of viscosity. Whereas a non-Newtonian fluid is quite spectacular. It doesn't follow Newton's law of viscosity and as you can see it behaves quite strangely. If a pressure is applied constantly it will behave like a solid but as soon as the pressure is removed it will again act like a liquid. So the answer to this question would be a Newtonian fluid possesses a linear stress strain relationship and it passes through the origin. The fluid properties of a Newtonian fluid do not change when any force acts upon it. Newtonian fluids are the simplest mathematical models of fluids that account for viscosity. How does cavitation cause damage? Cavitation causes pump performance to deteriorate. There will be mechanical damages, noise and vibration, which can ultimately lead to the failure of the pump. Vibration is a common symptom of cavitation and many times the first sign of an issue. Vibration causes problems for many pump components including the shaft, bearings and seals. The answer to this question would be In a closed system like that of a pipeline or pump, water evaporates rapidly in regions where the pressure drops below the vapor pressure. This phenomenon is called cavitation. The vapor bubbles formed in cavitation usually collapse in a very violent manner which may cause excessive vibration, which can make rotating parts such as an impeller to contact non-rotating parts such as the wear plates or wear rings. Explain the difference between friction drag and pressure drag. Frictional drag is important for attached flows that is there is no separation and it is related to the surface area exposed to the flow. Pressure drag is important for separated flows and it is related to the cross-sectional area of the body. The answer to this question would be Friction drag is the drag force exerted by a fluid on the surface due to friction action when the flow occurs past a flat surface at zero incidence. Pressure drag is the additional drag force on account of the differences of pressure over the body surface. The pressure drag depends upon separation of boundary layer and the size. How much hydrostatic pressure acts on a curved surface? The horizontal component of the total hydrostatic pressure force on any surface is always equal to the total pressure on the vertical projection of the surface and can be located through the center of pressure of this projection. The vertical component of the total hydrostatic pressure force on any surface is always equal to the weight of the entire water column which is above the surface, extending vertically to the free surface, and it can be located through the centroid of this column.